as all of you, you've had some pretty interesting jobs, and I am the same way. One that I remember that uh, just I had a lot of fun with. Um, I worked for Roberts Photography, and they were a photography studio, but they also had an old-time photo booth kind of thing that they would take around to different things, and mainly the Utah State Fair. And uh, I remember when uh, I was asked to participate in this, and this was all new to me. Um, I'd been to the State Fair, but never had worked in any of the booths and learned a lot about it. And what this old time photography was about is that you had all kinds of different costumes um, and they were sort of... Um, fabricated so they could expand or get tighter for smaller people or bigger people and there were a bunch of different sizes from the saloon gal to the cowboy to the gunslinger uh, to the businessman to the proper lady with her beautifully tailored dress and her little umbrella and her lace gloves all those kinds of fun things and what we did is we had a backdrop that was painted and looked like uh, an old saloon uh, old time saloon and then there were props tables and lamps and guns and whiskey bottles all kinds of stuff well this job entailed that I had to learn how to be a barker and that meant that you had to entice people to come to your booth and at first it was pretty darn scary but after a while it was really kind of fun uh, to entice people and you found that during the day you had a lot of families going through and the later it got at night turned into the couples the very young couples and then the drunk people and in particular I'm reminded of this story and it was late at night and there was a woman that came through and you could tell she'd had quite a few drinks. She was in a happy place and she definitely wanted to do a very sexy picture for her boyfriend. And so she went into the dressing room and had chosen one of the saloon gal dresses with a little bustier and the short outfit and everything. And it took her quite a while because she was so drunk. And, you know, I was worried because I could hear some banging and things going on. But finally she emerged from the dressing room and she looked pretty good. Um, she walked over to the table and she pulled one leg up and put it on a chair. So her knee was up and then she took her elbow and rested it right there on her knee. And then she put her hand in there and everything was great up until this point. So she had her hand there resting. She adjusted her bustier so she had a little cleavage. And then she did this. She went, Well, she was messing around with her lips. I thought she was trying to turn her lips inside out. She had this goofy, goofy look on her face and her eyebrows were all scrunched together. So she looked anything but sexy. It looked really kind of painful. And she was really pushing those lips out. And, mm -hmm. Well, I was trying everything that I could think of. I said, say 55. 55. Well, people walking by the booth were starting to laugh because she really looked strange. And she was trying so hard to be so sexy. Well, after 10 minutes of trying to get her to adjust her face into a normal kind of a look, I finally gave up, took the picture, and I asked her to stay in her costume because I knew once she saw that picture, she'd realize that her sexy was not on. Well, she waited there. She was waving to people and she was having quite a fun time until I brought that picture out when I held it up and she looked at it and she went. She went back. We took a picture and she finally had her sexy on. It's amazing what people think is sexy and what really they look like. Till next time.